I hate running games that have intro stages. I'm really just doing this to say I did it. Oh shit, that's bad. Unless it's not. Alright, now you're talking. I don't see myself ever doing it much faster than that. Very good. Now oh, come on, jump. Yeah.
pretty much one more reset, and then that's it for tonight. Oh my god, seriously? Fuck. No, I'll reset if I die in this boss. Come on, Panwin. Point blank. Time favorite. Isn't there like health up there or something? I can't remember. Nope. Just if I kill an enemy. Ah. I always misread the edge. Keep forgetting you can stand on a thruster or whatever. Ship descends. I love how the clouds keep scrolling faster.
There you go. Might come in handy. Don't have to go too far out of my way for it. that fuck damn it Some health drops. Not that kind. That kind. Fuck, seriously? Yeah, why not? Seriously? Fuck, every time. Mashing sometimes more effective than charging. Here's the run killer. Seriously considering moving this one to later in the thing. Order. My god, the only way I can fuck this up is if I hit a spike. I'm having all the luck with the sub tank fills. I'll actually fill up on health. Come on.
What the hell? Sure, I guess that'll make it easier, maybe? Holy crap. It's like the best luck I could have asked for. Oh god, not that shit again. Fuck it. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, at least we get to keep going this time. I actually like this boss. full armor. Come 
Come on, drop some health. Nope. No such luck. Shouldn't be too big of a problem in any more of these fights. Once I'm past Launch Octopus, I'm pretty solid. Yeah, of course. So the chameleon, not to be underestimated. Alright, Armadildo is next. There's a risky strat where you can dash jump in front of that tank, but I'm not going to try because I think that's instant death if you fuck it up. And I haven't practiced it. I know it's possible to kill him by mashing, I just failed last time I tried. I also didn't have the bus buster upgrade last time I made it that far. Oh, give me a... That's fine. How the fuck? Good thing I only wasted like 20 seconds. There. Wake up. Oh god! Whew! Close one. I almost got really pissed off. Fuck! Oh god! Tell me it's not a checkpoint. Oh god. Well, you know what? That's fine. I can farm for energy here. Ooh, I want that. It's like the only time in the game you ever need the helmet upgrade.
Ah, boo. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. How'd that happen? Must have accidentally hit the button when I scratched my eye. That's fine. At least this time I know I won't die. Worth it. More dash lemons. That's so stupid that they actually deal more damage. I never really used that to my advantage before. This isn't taking as long as normal. I feel like I could move him up earlier in the rotation. Like, I don't need the armor to take care of him. Then I'll have an extra heart tank for the octopus. I'm gonna try and get that heart tank with the charged shotgun ice. I think normally I use the boomerang. I don't think I ever tried charged shotgun ice. I might screw it up. It might slow me down. But if I can get that reliably and he ends up being an easier boss fight than Octopus, as I remember him to be. If everything works out just right, I'll move him up early in the rotation as well.
too tricky, but I feel like that enemy's shot almost ruined it. Sub tanks must be in pretty good shape. It's a real shame about all the deaths on Armadillo stage. But if all goes normal and Sigma decides to be nice today, I can probably do this in under an hour. Counting on it. Oh fuck. That hurts. More jumps, I guess. I love that teleport effect. There. That sub tank. No. Whoo. Hit him too many times, and that's it. Runs over, disqualified. Even though he's not really in my way, but rules are rules. Dash lemons off of walls deal more damage? I wonder. That's as strong as I'm gonna get. This run. Crap, fuck.
really not that bad, though. Don't even really think I need the armor. Launch Octopus is the hardest one. Should probably move until later. Yeah, I'm not saving as much time as I thought I was going to. Damn it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was supposed to take damage. Grr. Well, nice thing about having full health is you pick a health pickup up and... And then you fill your sub tanks. If I would have skipped that cutscene, as it's possible to do, then I would have disqualified myself because that is a glitch. Oh man, we're gonna be here for a minute. I'll have to remember that for next time. Huge time loss. Mm. Oh, okay, good. It really doesn't matter. Normally I don't use shield, but I've seen people do it in speedruns, so... Yeah, I don't like that. I'm gonna stick to what works for me. Oh, hey, Candy. <laughs> I had uh, two deaths in the Armored Armadillo stage, and this Sigma Fortress is quite far from optimized. Also, I'm low on health, as you can see. Still, I think if I don't fuck anything up, sub one hour may be a possibility. Oh, God, I might have to use a sub tank.
Fuck it. I was having a lot of luck earlier with uh, large health drops at full health. Fucking shit! I know I'm supposed to charge the chameleon, but fuck! Fuck it. This is, I was saying earlier, um, of course no one was around, so I was saying it to myself. This is a really hard game to do resets on because I hate running games that have intro stages. Like even yesterday, I played for probably like 20 minutes or so, had a reset, and I said, screw it, I don't want to play the intro stage again. It's really tiresome. Wake up! Ah, oh, what a prick. Two. Two hits. Ah. Mm. Like, I have a great respect for the X Games. Not super excited to be running them. But this is one of the most runnable games of the X series, so why not? Oh god, yeah. Let's not do the charge then. Why do I feel like I should have taken a death? Fuck! Oh god. I kinda wanna take a death. But I forget where the checkpoint is. I'm gonna have to take my chances with the sub tank. No, I'm taking a death here. I don't care. Okay, good. It was worth it. I don't know how good you are at figuring out where he's going to land, but I suck at it. I try not to even think about it. Just take my chances wherever. So far, not regretting taking that death. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I was just thinking about that shit earlier today. Fuck. You know, I get along real good with everyone so far, it seems. But I really feel like we have the perfect crew for that kind of thing. Format, whatever you want to call it. Red split. I think it should be... I'm pretty confident we can make it work. And, you know, it's kind of a hit or miss thing to do. Just that kind of humor, but... The thing is, we kind of agreed that it would undergo heavy editing and, you know... We'd only use what we considered to be workable. And people are really looking forward to it, so... I'm quite confident. Absolutely looking forward to it. This is not what I want him to do to me.
Yeah, it took me a little while to get into tactics, but uh, it's fuck fun to follow just because you know it's a half hour at a time, like once a month. Yeah, it's a good crew for it too. I don't know if you ever caught me saying this in Discord, but, um, so, you know, Nico, like, every time it comes up, motherfucker practice, of course, talking about Phil, and one time, he said, motherfucker practice, and I said, I wish Ultima would practice, for all our sakes, poor guy, <laughs> I will say this about whose turn, though. Are we really 100% dead set on the rules? Because, okay, like, you know, three hits and, and a kill or whatever that, uh... Or, you know, then you gotta count them and, okay, I get that sucks. But basically playing by tactics rules, I think it's gonna move pretty slow if we do it that way. Because it's not, like, non-stop gameplay, and it's a game that we're not quite so familiar with. I don't know if I have a better idea, but... Eh, I was a little happy with the three kills, but... Or, yeah, three enemy kills. I get it, but... I don't know. I think it's still worth discussing. Maybe if we do, like, no miss rules or something? I don't know. Yeah, no, probably. <laughs> we'll probably change our minds again, but no. I did that once. I wonder if we should have just released that first episode in its entirety, but no, we, we kept the best parts and people responded well, so I guess no regrets. I don't know about you though, I felt like there was some decent content that I thought got cut. But whatever, that'll just happen. I was really proud of my, uh. <laughs> like, unlikely Olympic events when I said the 100 yard skeet. I think Nico doesn't know what skeet means. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to show him one day. On stream. Oh crap. I don't want to use a sub tank, so I won't. Oh god. No! No, no, no! Shoot! Shit! Fuck. Oh god, that's fine. Okay, I'm not doing too great on time here. I'm probably not gonna get that sub one hour, but if I can at least complete the run, I won't feel like a total piece of shit. You know what's funny? Before Nico even put the trailer together, I thought about messaging him to say, hey, keep that line about the 100 yard skeet in there. I thought, ah, uh, not even worth it. Now I want to be dictating what he should be doing. I trust him to keep it in there. Learned a very, very valuable lesson that day. Nah. Oh, give me a break. Yeah, he's actually really good about that. <laughs> How is this my worst split? Crap. I suppose they were, weren't they? Whatever, I'm submitting this if I make it through the run. So I don't get like game over or anything. Oh, come on. <coughs> I was feeling pretty sick most of the week. Today I finally have my energy back. I feel more interject than I have in a long time, but cough persists.
Ooh, it sounded like it was worth it. Hmm. I thought I had some ideas earlier, and nothing comes to mind right now. A little bit having a hard time concentrating, though, as you can imagine. Ah! I'm interested in what you got, though. But like, I hope that you understand what I meant. Like, I want to be all presumptuous, like <laughs> doing the script from scratch because, like, I'm still sort of new here. Um, to be ripping on everyone. And believe me, that'll come with time. Ooh, ooh, I like that one. Barking <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Oh man. You're off to a very good start. I'm not even sure you need my help. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good too. Definitely think. I bet we come up with so many for Ultima, we'll be fighting over which one to use. Some sub one hour is gonna be hard. No, fuck. You know, between, between you and I, that was one observation I kind of made about the trailer. I was really happy with how it turned out. But one thing I think it's going to be kind of hard for us is just uh, so many inside jokes, you know? Which is great for the fans, but to attract a new audience... Eh, whatever. If they're interested, they'll catch up. Fuck, almost 55 minutes already? I'm not gonna get that sub one hour, but I'm gonna get real close. I kind of arbitrarily decide that sub one hour should be the goal for a submission for this kind of run. But I might just submit whatever I get tonight. in four minutes. I'm tempted to not even grind for the sub tanks. But I will anyway. No. Come on. 
Come on, give me some bigger ones, please. I don't know if you can hear me getting these health refills. Maybe seven, really. You know, I ran that game snubs to percent a couple times with uh, not a hundred percent. And it just took me so long. How am I doing here? Good. Ah, okay, two and a half minutes. <laughs> two and a half minutes. I was just wondering if you could hear me when I was actually getting the uh, health refills, like when I was successful. Oh god, I'm not gonna get it, am I? I'm like in such a rush, I'm not even using strategy. Oh god, 58. Ah! Ah, come on, sub one hour. I'm not gonna do it. This isn't this isn't going well. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Although, it brings an interesting question on, do I split when he's dead or do I split after the dialogue is over? Now the way they do it in the Game Boy games, the way the RTA community does it is, I thought that, I think for, um, what do you call it, like a GDQ, I think they don't split until after the dialogue is complete for like the Game Boy games. I feel like I remember hearing that somewhere, but in RTA you split when the last boss is actually dead. When there's no more threat to your health and life anymore. So yeah, far from optimized, lots of room for improvement. I don't think I'll get to 55, so I'm gonna submit this. But what I need to work on is optimizing special weapons in the Sigma Fortress stages, and also uh, taking greater advantage of the charged Sting Chameleon. Ooh, and I had a witness. Thanks so much for for hanging out. I love it when I have company. <sighs> it's a damn shame I have work tomorrow, but whatever. You know what else I've been uh, playing a lot, like just aside from this, and I kind of started talking to it, I think a little bit about it earlier, was uh, messing around with Final Fantasy VI on Steam, which is the, it's a remake um, of the Game Boy Advance game that's got the Super NES soundtrack, 
which is slightly superior to the Game Boy sound quality or Game Boy Advance. But you know, the slightly touched up graphics, which everyone thought looked like shit, um, you know, to see like, you know, on um, just on the internet, like in pictures and stuff. But to actually play it and like to play it full screen, honestly, I got used to it and I actually kind of like it now. Like I'm into it. But you know, um, one thing I noticed that I bet you'll remember is uh, when you're. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the names correctly because I've changed the way I pronounce them. Um, yeah, I wasn't a fan either, but I swear to God, like I got used to it. I'd say give it a chance, but you know, maybe not for everyone. But yeah, Tombot. So anyway, um, when you're Locke in his scenario, when everyone splits up near the beginning. Right now, I'm only like about at the point where everyone's meeting up at Narsh again. I'm not that far. I got Gao and whatever. I complete all the scenarios at the beginning. So um, when you're in Locke scenario and you're stealing the clothes and you find I used to pronounce it Celis, Celes, I don't know who like how you pronounce it, pronounce it. I used to pronounce it Celis, because a friend of mine pronounced it that way. I've heard it pronounced Celes. When you find her, like the traitor general bitch, with the runic ability, in the SNES version, I don't know if they did this in the Game Boy Advance version, she's being held prisoner in that room in the basement in that mansion, and uh, the soldier is like beating the shit out of her against the wall, he's like punching her in the stomach or whatever, and then she falls down doesn't happen in this remake Do just doesn't happen at all at some point she just kind of falls down but like she's not getting um physically tortured like she was in the original Celeste so, uh, oh okay I got a little too close to the mic for that one I think when I was like I played it like maybe a couple years after it came out I was like 13 or whatever um, or 14 maybe I think I was yeah probably I got an RPGs a little bit late uh, I started playing RPGs in like 95 96 started with Chrono Trigger and then FF6 was my second one and I think at that time I pronounced it seals <laughs> until a friend of mine got pissed off at me he laid the smack down on me for that one. Oh no shit for Christmas yeah, just, I, I remember I was never into, like, I, I wasn't even into Zelda. Wasn't into, like, you know, I was into more, like, you know, the, I was like Nico. I was into games that had action. Um, and, uh, yeah, finally I was reading Nintendo Power Magazine, and then I was reading about Chrono Trigger, and I was like, oh, sweet, you get to fight a bunch of nuns that turn into, like, serpent monsters? For some reason that just caught my interest, and I rented it. And it just blew my 13-year-old mind. It was like 95. You know, I still remember the old commercials for FF6. Or 3, as it was called at the time. I think it was Stop Motion Claymation or something. And it had Mog sitting behind a desk. And he was calling monsters into the room. Next! Bzz, next! And he was like zapping them. It didn't make a whole lot of sense. Didn't really explain at all what the game was. It's like, more monsters than ever before. It's like, who, who gives a shit? What is this? <laughs> like, if you don't know, then you're not sold, probably. Yeah, but I mean, that's just how video games were back then. You just went to the Blockbuster and you just took a chance, you know? Alright, it's Friday, what am I going to be doing for the rest of the weekend? <laughs> now, I wonder if Nico actually stuck around through this part when he finished this game. To see the little secret message that comes after the end credits if you give it a minute. Um, I was sitting in on his stream with him when he played the game blind for the first time. And that was fun. Because I got to kind of tell him where all the secrets were. And he didn't care. He's he's open to help. He just didn't want to know what the boss weaknesses were. Just fine. Alright, here he is. Um, yeah, I don't remember if I told him to stick around and watch this. Or if I would have if he would have had the patience. I remember, like, I told him when he got to the Flame Mammoth refight, use the boomerang cutter on him, or whatever. Um, and he didn't see my messages, and he didn't do it. And I showed him later when he was watching me stream that you can cut his trunk off. He said, motherfucker, turn into a pig. Maybe you were watching for that one. No, I think maybe Ultima and Nico are watching for that one. And I think, and I didn't even know about this until, like, recently, actually. And I think I saw in a video recently, you can actually do that with Launch Octopus, you can cut his tentacles off too. Still haven't tried that, so I'll have to try that later. I'm gonna end the recording right here, and I guess I'll probably start getting ready for bed. <laughs> but, um, anyway Candy, thanks for hanging out. 
And uh, next up, for a serious run, I'm going to get a time up on the board for four. I'm going to go for it. I want to do four and I want to do five. Um, you know, I've done them before, so I'm super sent. Not, my time was like not far behind Ultimus for four. And I wanted to get um, uh, get an improved time. It just didn't happen. Then I got sucked in the Mega Man 3 tournament and I was on that for a while. But now I'm back into trying to get on the board. And like I've done one through seven, nine, and ten. All Snubster percent. Um, and, uh, but, you know, I'm just trying to improve on those times before submitting and the recording quality on my old piece of shit computer. Um, it just makes you want to vomit. So, figure, yeah, you know, they're not fully optimized. They deserve to be redone. Um, so, yeah, gonna do four next, probably. I'm probably gonna mess around with some X2 on stream just to try and bust up the bosses. And just, that's one thing I sometimes do, um, lately is I just, I'll do Snubster percent, just Buster only through the first eight stages, and then, okay, good night, just call it a night. Just because I never really used to challenge myself to use only the Buster before. I really only used it on stages before, but then when the Mega Man Legacy Collection came out, first one, had the Buster only challenges for the bosses, I didn't even know I could do it. And I did it, and then the time it worked out well, like, you know, within about a year after that, I heard about Snubster, and I found out what Snubster percent rules are for the Snubster percent runs, and that's what got me interested, so here I am. Um, yeah, before I get going, you know, just a little thought popped in my mind. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I ever uh, thanked you recently for uh, responding to my initial email that I sent to you first, my first contact with you guys, and, you know, you uh, didn't trash it. You uh, replied and, you know, talked about uh, copying Nico on it, and then here we are. So I got to say, you know, thanks. I do appreciate that. If it wasn't for you, then um, I wouldn't be doing any of this. I wouldn't even have this new computer probably. Okie doke, have a good night, and I will see you around.